Shalom. First thing and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakaq Badash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Blessings and salutations unto the elect. Real quick, man, uh, I'm not really going to get into the article. Uh, I'm just showing very uh, spigots of it. But uh, as you know, this man is not going to stop. Okay? This thing is here to stay, and he's not going to stop. This is the time of the end. We're in a time of war. <laughs> we're entering a time of Jacob's trouble. And we're entering a time of mass pestilence and plagues. This is going to hit the earth, man. Strain after strain, plague after plague. And um, I remember we did a little research study on the different plagues that's hitting the parts of the world. And it was so ironic and funny that at the same time you had plagues of the third world countries that was less uh, uh, or, or lesser in third world countries than they are in these so-called new world countries or these westernized societies, man. Okay, which shows you that this is a bigger agenda at hand. And on top of that, it's Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai's judgment. Okay. It says new strain found. Okay, of course, you know, like right now, if you really want to be technically honest, we probably like in C23 or 24, because you had a movie called uh, Songbird, which dealt with the 23rd strand of the sea. Okay. And um, at that time, everything was pretty much forced into a lockdown, you know, and it was uh, trying this experimental drug, as we know as the Vanessa to try to implement on people and locking them in so you know it's possible that we can face new lockdowns they were talking about relocking down but you know due to the lockdown mandates in certain countries um america they didn't want to risk the so-called uh insurrection here in babylon because people even in america as docile as they are they're starting to wake up and seeing that something is really off with this system here okay they're seeing that it's not profitable okay it's very oppressive it's degrading all right, it's not a, a fulfilling, you know, it's depressing. It's 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 all those things. And people are waking up to the tyranny, to the to the uh medical tyranny that you're seeing happening right before us, because this is nothing more but a globalist takeover. You know, like the top world's billionaires and cashed out over a trillion bucks since this thing began. And you got people that's getting poor by the second. Okay, you can look at it as the biggest transfer of wealth in history. OK, because hey, the one percent, they own every goddamn thing. But the masses of the people like us, hey, we're losing by the second. The dollars, the valuing, we're paying for the debt. The cost of living is going up, but yet the cost of living wages are stagnant. They're not going up so much, you know. So this place is getting ready to fall. And these plagues are going to help that because this is the plan of the Heavenly Father. All right. So it says here, Chinese scientists have warned of a potential biosafety threat <laughs> presented by a new strain of sea which subjects to mutation may be passed from animals to humans and cannot be cross neutralized now what i want to do real quick uh before i read the rest of this article um i want to look up matter of fact uh let me let me look up this uh monkey because if y'all ever saw the movie outbreak regarding a monkey that escaped from the laboratory Basically, what happened was is that the damn monkey got loose in the damn woods and all of a sudden it affected every goddamn body. Now, look, it says loud monkey on the loose present potential infection risk. This seems a lot like the movie Outbreak. OK, and this article came out. What is it? The 20s. It is currently the 28th. I don't know why my clock says the 26th, but it is the 28th of January. And so like I'm changing my clock because the time's off. Sometimes the system does that. But anyway, this article came out six days ago. All right. So this is current news. And all of a sudden the movie Outbreak. Matter of fact, I may go home and watch that. You got Outbreak and Contain and Contagion. It's a two parts. It's part of a two DVD uh, pack. And they both go into pretty much the same thing. And if you look at the takeover now, it's pretty much shot them in the same damn thing you're seeing happen. Okay, so it says a truck carrying a hundred something monkeys was involved in a crash with a dump trailer in Montour County, Pennsylvania on Friday afternoon. <laughs> it says the animals were being transported to a laboratory, local media reported citing police. <laughs> While it's unclear whether many animals were injured, some of them were confirmed to have escaped, <laughs> but the authorities have launched a search and asked for the public assistance, and at least four of the monkeys reported being long tail mac uh, macus and are being to believe on the, on the youth. Now, how ironic is this that these monkeys containing certain diseases, 
okay? How ironic is that that these things are on the loose? How ironic that a freaking class, a crash, uh, 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 coincidentally happened and all of a sudden you got a hundred monkeys on the loose, man. Seems pretty set up in my opinion, but like I said, this is Esau Edom trying to control the narrative and it's really a how about you and how we shot. So, hey, this is just another way to justify bringing in more tyranny, more lockdowns, okay? More transfer of wealth from the poor to the rich because that's what it's really all about. And global control is all about control too at the end of the day. So yeah, man, prophecy is off the charts. This is the reason why they was putting that whole zombie apocalypse stuff on uh, the seat on the on the website of these uh, three letter alphabets. OK, but anyway, it says here. Uh, may be passed from animals to humans and cannot be cross neutralized by targeting antibodies. It says the researchers, most of whom come from Wuhan University, unexpectedly found that the NEO or the Neo Cove strain discovered in South Africa is a close relative okay but you notice they put pat numbers on it they put numbers on these things because overall they control them okay the uh uh, uh center for you know what control they control this shit they contain it and they mutate it and they make a profit off of it that's why you had places like big pharma monsanto the american medical association and the list goes on okay but it says sars which i'm not gonna spell it cov2 which was first identified in Wuhan and later caused the C19 pandemic uses the ACE2 to enter human body as well. Uh hold on one second, brother. Slock it. Pull up. Uh all right. It says here which was identified it uses the ACE2 to enter to human body too. It says the preprint published the BioRickfist portal saying that the infection was a strain now targeting bats <laughs> it cannot be cross neutralized by anybody's targeting the sars you know what or the mers you know what like where the hell do they get all these names from man I, i'm just curious on that we'll show you that is a bunch of bullshit but esau did release something he's done something all right uh whether it's the food the water the air because they've been chemtrailing heavily the last month or so all right like how in the hell is it gonna be 60 to 2 degrees monday and tuesday but it's gonna be snow in th Wednesday and Thursday, and possibly into the weekend. Cause you know this devil, he wants to disrupt, you know, the brother's weekend, cause he don't want us going out on a weekend. You know, as shallow as that may seem, this devil, we have a uh, an attack out on us, man. But my thing is, how the hell is it gonna be 62 degrees? The temperature of the ground is above average for this time of year, but yet this shit is sticking. Cause it's not, it's all manufactured, man. All right, and that's the spirit. I received the uh, uh, a message yesterday. Regarding one of those uh, geoengineering plants or some type of technology that they were using right out of Kansas, man. And I may go into that later on, how they're controlling the weather. Okay, because this devil won't allow us to have blue, clear skies. He wants to block out the sun. He wants to spray all these illnesses in the air. He wants people to ultimately get, you know, die from this shit. You know, that's why a lot of brothers came down sick. But I believe that it was the Lord testing our spirits because we gonna have to be immune to some shit he's getting ready to release. Because that's what Esau does, man. He's the harbinger of death. But it says other recent studies also conducted by Chinese scientists have shown that the progenitor of the Omarion, <laughs> which caused a new wave of infections around the world and is now dominant in many countries, jumped from humans to mice, rapidly accumulating mutations conducive to affecting the host, then jump back into humans. Seems like a goddamn parasite, you ask me. You know, but like I said, man, this is the devil that we're talking about. And this is really prophecy. These are plagues, man. All right, because a lot of people are going to get sick. And those of you that drunk the juice, not the good juice, y'all going to start dropping dead. And Biden said, it. he said, hey, by this winter, a lot of people are going to start dying. OK, and he's trying to blame it on the people that didn't deal with Vanessa. But it's the people that's dealing with Vanessa, though, the people that's not dealing with Vanessa are getting sick. But nine times out of ten, they have a, a better chance of recovery than people that have uh, no immunity to this stuff, okay? So anyway, this is the book of uh, Second Edges 15 and 26. It says here, For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him, and therefore deliver he them into death and destruction, okay? Because you people in America, you Babylonians, man, you don't worship your Hawabashi and Hawashai, okay? You serve your own belly, you serve your own belly, and you're doing your own goddamn thing, okay? You don't acknowledge the men of the Lord and the churches that you are attending they're not teaching you about the truth so therefore you between a rock and a hard place literally 
you know, mass evictions, uh, 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 mass death, okay, depression, confusion, you know, people losing jobs, people ain't going to work. Like I was doing a physical, man, uh, uh, doing a, a DOT physical, and the, the cl clinician, he said it. He said, man, I'm kind of stretched out too thin because ain't nobody coming in because they all calling off due to being sick. And I said, yeah, well, you got your work cut out for you. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it says for anyway, it says for now, the plagues have come upon the whole earth and ye shall remain in them. So this thing is not going to let up. OK, it's not going to let up. It's not going to miraculously one day disappear because that ain't what the most high intended on. Because the most high has got to bring America down by all means. OK, and it says here, and ye shall remain in them. For the most high should not deliver you because ye have sinned against them. OK, so you people are not going to be delivered from the said uh, plagues and pestilence is going to hit the earth. All right. Because, hey. Like I said before, and I'm going to echo it again, this is the will of the Heavenly Father, okay? And it reads here, 2nd chapter 16, and I'm going to start at verses uh, not 8. It says, the mighty Lord sent the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away, okay? Nobody can drive this away. You know, and Esau, Edom, he's the agent of chaos, so the Most High is allowing him and using him to enhance this technology to keep people in this jacked up state of mind. Because it gets worse from here on out. It don't go back. You can forget about 2019, which that wasn't a normal year anyway. People say return back to normal. It's never been normal here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Never have, never will be. Okay? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Shit, man. What's the deal? You doing the oil time? Yes, sir. All right. In like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yep. All right. Anyway. Uh, so no, it's not gonna go back to normal. Okay, Yahweh Bashim Shai has sanctioned America to be brought down by plagues. All right, economic turmoil, uh, which is an economic collapse, race riots, <laughs> civil war, the main one, and ultimately fire by the nuclear missiles and the chariots. And it says, and a fire should go forth from his wrath. Who is he that may be able to quench it? Okay, so Esau Edom is not gonna get things back to normal. It's not gonna happen, bro. Verses, um, jump down, verses 17. Woe is me, woe is me, who would deliver me in those days? <laughs> right, and that's the question because brothers, man, they felt very ill to the point that some brothers felt like they was going to give up the spirit. Like I was suffering from being lightheaded for damn near three weeks now, you know, and it's getting better. It's subsiding now. And a lot of it, I think, is just dealing with Jake. I think it was a lot of stress too, man, because for whatever reason, when I go into work, you know, I feel weaker. I feel drained, man, because it's a lot of demonic energy in there. And find out that the payroll lady is a fucking witch. That's all into the crystals and all this shit. And every time I walk past her, she's always giving me this crazy ass look. Like she tried to engage in conversation with me and stuff like that. But she just got a real weird bugged out spirit on her, man. And of course, she's a damn black woman. You know, something about you black woman and you quote unquote spiritual beliefs. Look, man, you ain't nothing but a goddamn witch. I don't give a damn how much you want to polish spirituality up. If you ain't coming from these scriptures and from this doctrine, you a fucking witch. I don't give a damn who you are, you know. And hey, low key, man, you know, like I said, working for this organization, you got a lot of low level witches in there. And just the fact that I said that the men of the Lord, we're like Shanghai absorbing radiation. And eventually Shanghai, guy, it weakens out. You need a recharge. So, you know, now, you know, the Lord has given me the recharge. But for the, like the last three weeks, man, I go in there and I work. Something in the air, bro. You know, air hits me. I start feeling a little lightheaded, man. A little nauseous. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, when I did my DOT physical today, you know, I got checked out. And I told him I was suffering from a little vertigo. But, uh, you know, he checked me out. I said, well, you look like you all good. You clear. You know what I'm saying? And I feel a lot better, too. So, I just think it's just dealing with a lot of wickedness and a lot of evil, wicked jakes that's really quenching. It's, it's, it's kind of quenching the spirit. That's why we got to stay prayed up and anointed, man. Because, hey, we in the midst of damn demons, man. Yahweh I said it. Behold, I send you forth the sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye there harmless as does and wise as serpents. Because Jake carry a lot of bullshit on them, man. You can literally feel the energy that Jake carries. And it's, it's very low, man. It's low and it's degrading. And it drains your spirit. Because when I'm not really around Jake, I feel good. I feel decent. I feel kind of normal. But when I go around him... I just, man, it's just like my spirit just starts to drop, man. It's like, God damn, it almost feel like dying, you know? But anyway, it says the beginning of sorrows and great mornings and the beginning of famine and great death and the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear and the beginning of evils. But what should I do when these evils come? You know, legitimate question because, hey, we're going to call on the name of Yahweh Shai and have faith in that name by doing what we're supposed to do. 
And yes, rehearsing the righteous acts, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, which you clowns out there saying we're teaching brothers not to. They never came out of my, our mouth. Okay, so you're in judgment of bearing false witness. It says here, but behold, the famine and plague and tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a minute. But for all these things, they should not turn from their wickedness, nor always be mindful of their scourges, man. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to just end it there. Point has been made, all praises and glory and honor is due to you. How about you? How about you? And with that, shalom and a bubble ball. ball.